You just watched a far-right militia disperse after accomplishing their mission. What was their mission, you ask? Well, to intimidate a local LGBTQ plus event into shutting down. They showed up with guns, and when the event organizers thought that there was a danger to the well-being of people there, they stopped the event. So they won. And this is becoming an increasingly common phenomenon across the United States, not just with armed far right extremists showing up to queer spaces and harassing and intimidating them, but Nazis as well are showing out in droves. For example, Nazis surrounded a drag show in Lakeland, Florida, and called for the deaths of, quote, pedophiles inside. Also, high profile drag performers across the country are having to hire armed security guards and plan escape routes in the event a gunman shows up to their event. And in Moore County, North Carolina, more than 40,000 residents lost power due to a targeted attack on substations. And though the motive for the attack is unknown at the time that I record this video, the sheriff does say that it's possible the power was actually cut in order to stop a drag show in Southern Pines from taking place. And that is one way to shut down an LGBTQ plus event. But when it comes to Columbus, Ohio, here's why the right wing militia showed up. As NBC News explains, the hosts of a drag queen story hour style event for children in Columbus, Ohio on Saturday pulled the plug because of what they described as the intimidating presence of right wing demonstrators. The scheduled holiday themed holy drag story time at the First Unitarian Church of Columbus, which runs the K through five institution behind the event, Red Oak Community School, was canceled canceled at the last minute Saturday morning following internal discussions, organizers said. Members of Ohio's Proud Boys organization and other right-wing groups made good on promises to make waves outside the venue Saturday. More than 50 demonstrators, including members of the Proud Boys, gathered near the church Saturday morning and shouted, chanted, and held up signs. Some were armed with long guns. So they have unilaterally decided that family-friendly LGBTQ plus events are unacceptable because their logic is drag queens are a danger to children. So this dude right here, if all of a sudden you put a wig on him, he immediately becomes a danger to children. That's their logic. All queer people are dangerous to children because by their logic, well, if children are exposed to queer people, then they would know that being gay isn't that bad. And if they grow up to be gay and don't hate themselves, then that's bad. These people want them to hate themselves. And some Nazis also showed up a couple of blocks away from the church. And as you're going to see in this video, courtesy of BG on the scene, they were sig heiling and they made their message very clear. Now, as you saw, they were holding a banner that said groomers. I don't know what the second word was, but basically the fact that Nazis have adopted the groomer rhetoric by the far right propaganda ecosystem isn't necessarily surprising if you know history. Twitter user Primus Gendered shared a Wikipedia entry on the Nazis' views on homosexuality, noting how similar it was to the rhetoric that we see from today's right wing. It reads, the Nazis were influenced by earlier ideas conflating homosexuality, child molestation, and the seduction of youth. Before the Nazis rise to power, there was a widespread belief among Germans that homosexuality was not inborn, but instead could be acquired and spread. And that sounds eerily similar to what we're seeing the right proclaim about LGBTQ plus people today. Now, this is going to continue to happen. Queer spaces are going to be intimidated and harassed increasingly by right wing militias and Nazis. And those terms aren't mutually exclusive, but they're showing up. They have their swastikas, they're emboldened, and they feel as if they have support from the community to harass and and ultimately shut down these queer spaces. That's where we're at here in the United States of America.
Now I've got one more video to show you where you can kind of see more of the protesters uh, and to call them protesters, I think is being extra charitable, the harassers. And you can see some of the signs uh, and what their message was to queer people. We will yeah. not comply. We will not comply. We will not comply. We will not comply. Some of those guys were like, ah, we're not specifically, you know, organized with you guys. Okay, cool. Okay. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, hey, look, we don't have any problem with you guys being out here. Um, just make sure that you're practicing, you know, safe firearms. Everybody's got their muzzle down. I'm happy to see that. I don't have any issues with that. Uh, the big issue that we want to make sure is that, you know, we're allowing the flow of traffic. And then if there are any pedestrians that are coming through, uh, that we're, you know, facilitating them getting through. Uh, so we really hope that everything goes smoothly. I expect that it will. Uh, everybody I've talked to today has been very nice, very professional. Uh, so you'll see us. Uh, we'll be in the powder blue. We'll be in point of contact. Okay. You talk to some guys up here. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. 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 We're all free. Yeah. Okay, guys. All right. Any questions? All good. What's that? Are you proud of yourself? Yeah. Rumors are abusers. You should not be anywhere near children. So some of the signs said, "We are everywhere," meaning that if you hold an LGBTQ plus event, then we're going to be there to intimidate and harass you. That's the message that they're sending. And they kind of have been doing this already. So it's not necessarily an implausible message. They've been everywhere, not just the Proud Boys, but other far right militias, other just right wing protesters in general have been showing up all year to shut down drag events. So, yeah, this is absolutely 100 percent the fault of right-wing propagandists who are claiming that grooming is taking place at all LGBTQ plus family events, even though that isn't happening. No evidence that grooming is happening at these drag shows. But we do know that the Catholic Church does pose a danger to children. Don't see them protesting the Catholic Church. I mean, I personally think that child beauty pageants are extremely creepy. And if you think that just a drag queen being around a child is bad. Wouldn't that be orders of magnitude worse? Well, no, they're not protesting child beauty pageants as well. I'm not claiming that they should, by the way. But what I'm trying to demonstrate to you all is that this is about queer people. They are discriminatory. They don't like queer people. They think that queer people are inherently dangerous to children. And that's why they're doing it. Their views mirror the views of the Nazis. And because they're being stoked by right-wing propagandists, this is going to continue, and we already saw one mass shooting, so more violence is probably going to happen because this is going to continue to be a, an occurrence so long as queer people exist. If you have a public space and you're a queer person, this is what you have to look forward to in the future because the Republican Party has chosen to make you public enemy number one. So, yeah, this is where we're at. I, I want to say that it's shocking, but I'm honestly not shocked by what we're seeing here. This is exactly what I think everyone in the in the queer community expected the second we started to see this groomer rhetoric pop up. It's the old gays or pedophiles trope that has been revived, and now it's applied to everyone in the LGBTQ plus community. It's just really sickening, but this is America in 2022, where Nazis are absolutely vocal and emboldened. And they want to make sure that marginalized people know that they will be there to intimidate you if you aren't scared back into the closet.